Now on the tee from Finland, Tapio Polkanen. Yet to get his first win on the European Tour the Finn, but we saw he does have a third place finish. The first time he popped up on our screens was in the Joburg Open a few years ago when he first came out on the, the main tour from the Challenge Tour and yeah we admired that hat and it is him and that's a good shot. So two great shots by Polkinen to get to here. Can he get it to the hole? Right. Okay he has. Uh, the easiest of birdie fours for Polkinen. Forced to contend with Tapio Pulkinen. Oh, another yard creeps over that crest and feeds down to the hole. A little unlucky. This will be slow. Look at the length of that backswing. He's given that a right. Oh, there it is, right there. Pulkinen for his birdie slightly down the hill quite quick and quite nicely done. The sixth is the short par four. Pulkinen has found the bunker with his tee shot. Okay. Well, he obviously laid up there and laid up into the bunker, so a mistake. Well, you'd hope to give yourself a much shorter look for a birdie on this short sixth. And that is a complete misread. Okay. Yeah, the first part wasn't great from Pulkinen, but that one finds the bottom of the cup. He stays at nine under par. Three wood for Pulkinen. We're into the par five ninth. Yeah. Man. It's yeah. okay. It's two big hits to get up there, really. And it's great. It's a great spot. It's lovely grass there as well to pitch from. Well, we saw the second at nine from Pulkinen over the water. Good second shot. Now, this should be relatively easy off a nice clean lie. Yeah. There you go. Tidy. He would expect to do that eight times out of ten. Pulkin and the Finn with this to get to ten under par. Okay. And then he popped. That gets him alone in second place. Lovely outward nine of 33 strokes. Third on the green. As we head to Pulkin on, on the par five tenth, playing his okay. third shot. Absolute cracker again. Well, Paul can have had that opportunity to take solo ownership of the lead. He taps in for his part. Going along very nicely at three under par. One of our co-leaders, Pulkinen at 11. And that's spot on. Uh, 31 years old, the Finn. Pulkinen. He's another no-nonsense player, isn't he? He gets on with it. He's a free-swinging player. Hits it miles. Nice looking stroke. Oh, yes. 
beautiful putt. And out in front on his own at 11 under now. Hmm. I'm going to start calling him the baby-faced assassin if a few more of those go in. <laughs> If you wonder why we've seen so many iron shots so far from flag today, it's because the pin positions are in really tough places. Either right up at the back of greens, which is tough to get to, or just tucked over hazards like this. Which is also not easy to get at. A lot of guys will opt to just go safe and long. Now, Polkenham was happy to see this dry. He was a bit nervous when it was in the air. Yeah, fringes may be just a little bit stickier after the, the deluge yesterday. Two and a half, three feet for his part. And he does and maintains the lead. It's his 96th event on the European Tour and he's never led after 54 holes. That wasn't easy, but that's a long way by. Here is the leader, Polkinen, at 13. 2.24 to cover. Swing there. 25 yards on the flag. Can he find it? Yeah, right to the heart of the green. Excellent. And a birdie chance for Polkinen. Can he stretch his lead? Oh, yeah. look at that. Stroke is looking as smooth as silk. It is, that's five birdies on the card. No drop shots for Tapio Pulkinen today. The leader, Pulkinen. Started it right with a slinging draw. Thank you. Small shot. A lot, a lot of really, really tough, sneaky pins today. He's found his mojo with the Potter as well, talking on over the last few holes. Oh, that was him, wasn't it? Just by literally a roll of the golf ball more. And that was in. Pulking in. Smooth in one end to 15. Shouldn't have too much spin on it. He's carried it too far. Pulkan, with his third shot, it was a very indifferent wedge in. Uh, not his finest chip, leaving a bit of work. He is, of course, bogey-free to this point on Saturday. Ooh, it sneaks in the side door, but no matter. Cutter hasn't let him down. Very controlled swing by Pokemon. At the other par 3, 16, and it is an absolute peach of a shot. Could be a swing here. Polkina makes this. He's putted well. So it is the birdie for Polkina. He sneaks ahead, and Crocker has got quite some work to do. But a par, he may well just have opened up a two-shot lead here, Polkinen. Oh, it's come out like a rocket. But that's still the the better alternative. We saw Soderberg earlier from a similar lie slide the club right under the ball. Polkinen for his par now to maintain a two-shot lead. So it's a first bogey of the day for the Finn. He drops back to 12 under. Pulkinen 
with the iron off the 18th tee. All that. Yeah, that's all. It's been the 18th. It's just an iron for position. Nobody's playing more than that. Bernister's already knocked his approach in close on 18. Can Tapio Porkinen, our leader, follow suit? What a backstop he can use, yeah? Oh, and he has. Those are two fine, fine golf shots. Doesn't get a lot better than that. And this to get to 13 under. Nicely done. Stretches his lead. So that's a super 66 for Tapio Pulkinen on Saturday here at the D&D &D Real Czech Masters. And he is the leader in the clubhouse now at 13 under par. Tapio, great third round of 66. Tell us about it from your point of view. Yeah, it was a solid round. Uh, better than the first two rounds, but it was a lot of uh, good putts and uh, a lot of good iron shots. So. And off the tee, I was pretty straight today as well, so happy with that. You said it was better than your other two rounds. Was there a game, a different game plan that you tried today c compared to Thursday and Friday? No, I did everything the same pretty much. A little bit different wind direction today, so it helped uh, par fives a little bit, So, but everything was the same. Yeah. You were uh, Challenge Tour number one in 2017. What can you take from that year to tomorrow where you may get your first European Tour title? Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, I won there one tournament in Kazakhstan. Of course, winning is always, always uh, difficult, and uh, I feel I can do it tomorrow. And uh, I, I was here on top two years ago or four years ago, uh, but I kind of the wind changed in the middle of the tournament, so I kind of I didn't have the good strategy for the other wind direction, and uh, I felt I feel like I'm I can play aggressive and defensive both both this week, so I feel I can. I can win here. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.